If you want instant access to new videos as they're uploaded, then please click on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to comment on the videos. And if you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial. So if you want to connect your Mac to the VPS, you need to do a couple of things. The first thing is you need some remote desktop software. So if you go to the App Store, you'll find there's loads of remote desktop software that you can use. So if you just go into the App Store and type in remote desktop, you'll see there's a whole list of different types of uh, remote desktop software. Now, Microsoft Remote Desktop is actually free, and it does pretty much exactly everything that we want uh, without too much fuss. So, you know, I haven't really looked at many of the other ones, but Microsoft Remote Desktop seems to be perfectly adequate for my needs. I haven't had to choose anything else, and it's free. So I suggest that you choose Microsoft Remote Desktop. Obviously, you'd install that from here, and then you can access your VPS using that particular tool, which is what we shall do next. So we've started up Microsoft Remote Desktop, and what you need to do is just, you'll, you'll get this sort of blank screen. I've already got some preloaded in here, which I've hidden for security reasons. But basically, what you need to do is just go to New, click on New. Here you can see a number of options, which I shall explain. The connection name is basically the name that you want to give your VPS. So I would call this My VPS on my MacBook. Um, now, the only reason you'd call it different names is if you have more than one server. So one could be racing, one could be football, one could be uh, automated stuff or whatever. So you just call it whatever you want to call it. So you could call it Bill, Bert, Ted and Fred if you wanted to. Up to you. Now, the PC name is not the name of the PC. It's actually the IP address of the PC. So when you sign up to a VPS, you will be given an IP address and it will read something like 123.123.123.23. So it'll be four numbers separated by uh, a, full, uh, a full stop or a period, depending upon how you wish to call that. Uh, but basically, you enter your IP address in the PC name, and then you'd enter your username. The default is administrator, but I suggest that you change that um, if you so wish, or at least you change the password. And you will be given a username and password, which will be administrator and something else, uh, when you sign up to the VPS server. So you'd enter those in the username and password section, you'd enter the IP address under the PC name. Now the resolution uh, is up to you which one you want to choose, but I suggest you choose the highest resolution you can. Now font sizes get a little bit small at higher resolutions, so there's no reason why you can't choose a lower resolution, but I tend to choose the highest that I can so I can fit more onto the screen. The number of colors um, is a bit of an irrelevance, but if you want uh, to get the maximum performance, you'd choose lower number of colors. But generally, it performs very well at high color as, uh, resolution as well. Um, but you also want to select scale content so that everything fits onto the screen exactly the way it should do if you're using uh, different resolutions. So yeah, basically enter your IP address, your username and password, change the resolution to something that you wish, up to you if you want to change the colors, but also scale the content. Um, and that's all that you need to do. Once you have saved that particular setting, uh, then it will become available on this pane here on this particular window um, and then you can just double click it and that will give you access straight into your VPS to use it in the way that you've seen already. Uh, it's that simple to connect uh, your Mac to BetAngel via a VPS. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, visit BetAngel.com and download a free trial today.